All right. So I'm sharing the word of the Lord that I could not rest until I released. Uh, prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. That's what I kept hearing. Um, Isaiah 40 and Mark 1 are going to be our reading meditations that are connected to this word. Um, it kept echoing in my mind. I could not rest. I could not sleep until releasing this. Uh, so please take heed. Do your own studying. I'm going to read from Isaiah 40 and then end with some instructions uh, that the Lord has shared for us. So Isaiah 40, I'm going to skip the King James because that's the translation that is clearly spot on to what I kept hearing in the NMIE. Um, it says, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare you a way, prepare you the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. I'm going to read the Amplify in Isaiah 40 as well, because I love this translation. It says, speak tenderly to Jerusalem, which is us, the people of God, and call out to her that her time of compulsory, compulsory service in warfare is finished. That was big for me. <laughs> Her time of compulsory service and warfare in the wilderness is finished, that her wickedness has been taken away since her punishment is sufficient, that she has received from the Lord's hand double punishment for all her sins, a voice of one calling out, clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness, remove the obstacles, the idols, the secret and, and repetitive sin, the habit, the things that we're not giving to God. Remove the obstacles. Make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised. Every mountain and hill made low. Every secret thing exposed. I added that. Let the rough ground become a plain. And the rugged places a broad valley. Let our pride be brought low. And let us humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. That he would exalt in us in due time. And then it says, And the glory and majesty and splendor of the Lord will be revealed and all humanity, all humanity shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Isaiah 42 through 5 amplified version. Where else does it say to prepare the way of the Lord? Mark 1, starting at verse 1. In the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as is written in the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, John the Baptist, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. <laughs> there went out unto him all the land of Judea and, thy, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Key point. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered the synagogue and taught. So how do we prepare the way for the coming of the Lord? One, we confess our sins and have true repentance. We do not look back like Lot's wife. We turn away for good. We humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. We repent. That's it. Turn away. Two, be baptized with the Holy Spirit. We won't need a pool or a big event necessarily. That's fine if you do it. But baptism is really the Holy Spirit and not a place or an event or a human man or woman laying hands on you. You don't need that to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He is tired of people taking his glory. So he doesn't even require that. It's not how it happens. If he comes upon you, or sorry, the Holy Spirit comes when the person of Jesus Christ in the, in the manifestation of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, not when a person lays hands or dunks you in water. 
I think that's a misconception for some who may be not understanding completely. You can be baptized with the Holy Spirit anywhere. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, walking to the bus stop many years ago while going to work. No one was there but me and the Holy Spirit and God and Jesus. <laughs> for some, it happened in their shower. Don't put God in a box. Just receive him. Repent, turn from your sin, and receive the Holy Spirit's baptism. You need it. There's no way you can survive without that right now, especially. Acts 1, 1 through 8. Um, Jesus is giving a command. Um, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John the Baptist... Baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus, going down to verse 7, said, It's not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Number three, stand still and receive the salvation of the Lord. He's speaking to his bride and he's saying, get ready for me because I'm coming to save you. I will deliver you and gather you in my arms. I will carry you to safety. I am your God. Not astrology, not anything else that is going to, like the young woman in the news. She was practicing witchcraft, astrology. Whatever she was doing was not of God. She had idols that were erected as her gods. She used them to do wickedness and evil. And the judgment that came upon her was very right in our face. Like we saw it. She killed herself. She killed others. She has blood on her hands because of the wickedness and the evil of her detestable practices. Those practices are detestable to God. Astrology witchcraft, horoscopes, palm reading, tarot readings. Those are detestable things to God and he's done. It's not a game. He's not playing with these things anymore and judgment will come upon those who are still having their hands in those things and who are having their hands in the spilling of innocent blood. Number four, remain in holy reverence and awe of God. If you don't fear God, you better humble yourself and ask him why not. And figure it out. You don't have time. Remain in re- holy reverence and awe of God, and be witnesses of the Lord and all the ends, all to all the ends of the earth. Social media has made it so that we don't have an excuse. If you have a job, you can be talking about the Lord there. Talk about your testimony. Talk about what He's done for you. Share the goodness, the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the earth. That's it, and that's all for now. Be encouraged. I love you guys.